Machine translation. An innovative economical point heat element tablet has been created for industrial and self assembly of heating convectors. For all existing heaters, powder, nichrome, fecal, and others, it is necessary to supply a sufficiently large energy consumption, and everyone has a big drawback the length of the wire twisted into a spiral and covered with insulating powder. Teplol, a heating element related to powder and solid state heaters, but having its own type of definition, is fundamentally different from wire heaters. This is a spot heater operating from low voltage direct and alternating voltage from 3 volts to 48 volts and possibly more at currents from 3 amperes to 30 to 40 amperes. There are two types of elements, powder with the addition of a special liquid and a solid element. The powder heater consists of a mixture of oxide powders and a special liquid, clamped between two metal plates and sealed with a high temperature sealant. The element operates from different voltages with adjustable preload of the plates, but the current should not exceed 10 amperes, the element is degrading. If you accidentally destroy a powder element by applying high current, it can be restored using a little special liquid. The solid state element, with a thickness of 3 mm to 7 mm, showed excellent qualities, and, moreover, ease of assembly of the heater, it is used in series connection from 12 volts, in parallel strictly from 3 volts to 5 volts, then it can be destroyed. So, what is the best heater on my heating elements? Many houses have their own cold places, where you can't put a store heater. Therefore, it is better to assemble the heater according to its size and temperature output. This is the first, a simple self-assembly from improvised metal, as I want in turn, plus you can also install a fan. Secondly, the total resistance of all convectors, can reach up to 0.1 ohm, 
so all the energy and time spent will be spent on 100% heating, unlike the same heaters with a spiral that heats the insulator. Thirdly, a non-hazardous DC voltage is used. The current consumption will depend on the voltage in the total resistance, all according to the law. A simple adjustment of the voltage or current of the power supply makes it possible to constantly maintain the required temperature. Fourthly, this element, subject to the technical parameters, will work all your life and will remain with your great-grandchildren. In case of mechanical damage, splitting up to 3 by 3 millimeters, these fragments will also work and heat. The difference from industrial convectors is that the entire metal area is heated and not a small kilowatt heat inside the industrial convector body. It is necessary to put mesh protection on the heater so as not to get burned and not to be powered, grabbing the ground at the same time, or paint it with chip-resistant high-temperature paint, lay thicker wires in a fireproof channel. Sufficiently good heating occurs with two elements per section. The aluminum convector is light, comfortable, warms up in 3 to 5 minutes to a high temperature, there is a rapid release of heat, but it has a high resistance due to the oxide film and when the elements are heated to 200-300 degrees, the current consumption drops. This problem can be worked around. It is necessary to install copper foil at the contact points, with a bracket, that is, the contact will be made along the foil, and all the heat will be transferred to aluminum. The elements are thin, which is not so costly, but the metal itself is expensive. The iron convector warms up in 7 to 10 minutes, gives out more sensitive heat from the air at the outlet, slow heat release has low resistance, the current consumption does not drop, and stays at the same level. The elements have a larger size with a different cost, but iron is cheap, and almost everyone has it lying around. The element is good friends with iron. It is ideal to make from copper, it combines the dignity of aluminum and iron, contact resistance is less, fast heating, slow heat release, but you yourself understand the price. If you make a convector with ribs, and in the body, then the heat transfer increases, as from a water heating convector. The design of convectors will depend on your imagination and income. Energy consumption per 10 meters of convector will be from 120 watts to 500, or 1000 watts of constant power from an impulse switch, battery, solar battery, short circuit current generator, everything that produces low voltage and high current. Convectors can be connected in series, in parallel and in series parallel. Some elements may vary in size, this is revealed when heated, some sections heat up more, some less. In this case, it is better to group the convector from the same elements, the smaller the element, the greater the heating. A short circuit generator will be developed for the Teppel heating system, which will require less energy to spin the rotor.